Hey there, welcome back to AI Code King. You know how companies, when launching even a small product, host those mega conferences to show off their new amazing product that no one wants? Well, you can call them normies. Because obviously, you wouldn't just post a torrent link to your new product and call it a day, right? Well, that's exactly what happened. In typical Mitral AI fashion, yesterday, a mysterious torrent link appeared on Mitral's account. Everyone thought, what is this? Are they hacked or something? Well, it turned out to be their new model, Mixtral 8x22b, which is a successor to Mixtral 8x7b. They didn't even launch a blog post or anything. Pretty sick, Mistral. Anyway, let's talk about the model. Mixtral 8x22b is a successor model to Mixtral 8x7b. Mixtral 8x7b was known to compete against the likes of GPT 3.5 and Llama 2. But there were obvious issues with it as well. Just like any first-gen model, it had a lower context window, fewer training parameters, and other issues. Now, let's talk about the newer model. Judging from the model name, the Mistral 8x22b MOE is thought to be a larger version of the open source model Mixtral 8x7b, released in 2023. They haven't released any blog post for it, so people are making their guesswork for now. It seems to have a context window of 65k. Pretty cool, although it is not as much as Command R or DBRX but Mixtral has better quality of generations than them. So, I'm not complaining. The file that they have shared about the model appears to be as large as 261 GB. So obviously, I was unable to test it because I have a potato computer, and it would have blown up to outer space if I had to test it. It has also been converted to transformer-compatible format for general users to use it with things like LM Studio. Let's check out some of its benchmarks that users have shared, because the company who released this model didn't have time to write a blog post and wanted to sleep instead. Pretty cool, just like me. Anyway, if we look at some benchmarks, FYI, the benchmarks I'm going to tell you about have very weird names which I think need to be changed. I mean, what are these names like Helleswag? Also, thanks to Mr. Zero Hero for sharing this benchmark. Anyway, in the Helleswag benchmark, it could not beat GPT-4, but it still came close to Claude 3 Sonnet and Haiku. Pretty cool. In MMLU, the results were also similar. The Winogrand benchmark shows it as even closer to GPT-4. The other benchmarks also showed similar results. Some people who have those NASA computers also shared their results about the model like this video. Overall, it looks pretty cool. I'll wait for a fine-tuned and dumbed-down version of it to release to actually test it myself. Let me know if you have tested it and share your results in the comments. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, bye. Thank you.